everybody! Today's video is about something you've all actually been asking me about recently, um, and that is how to quickly come back from an injury. Now, I've done a previous video on injuries, which I will link in a card for you guys. I've also done a recent podcast episode on that, which I will link in the description bar. The thing I always say is you want to take your time, you want to do it right, but you still, you guys still want how do I come back quickly? What can I do to get back as fast as I can? So I'm going to try and address that today and give you some tips, even though I still believe you should absolutely take your time. Um, here are some things you might not have thought of that will help you come back as fast as your body will allow you to. The first thing is to eat an anti-inflammatory diet. So I would cut out dairy, I would cut out gluten, I would cut out sugar as much as you can. Anything that's going to keep your injury inflamed, keep your joints inflamed, is going to obviously prohibit you from getting back in shape and back to health you know, as fast as you can. It's going to it's going to slow you down. So I would really watch your diet. And you can Google things about best foods to eat when you're injured, best foods to eat, you know, when you've got such and such injury. Because like when you're ill, you don't want to give your body all this awful food. You're never going to get better. Same thing with an injury. You want to give your body antioxidants. You want to give it nutrients, vitamins, minerals, and that's going to help you come back as fast as you can, as fast as your body will allow. Obviously, injuries do not heal themselves overnight, but that will really, really help you. So first tip is to watch your diet. Second tip, depending on your injury, do as many other exercises as you possibly can. I talked about this in the video and in the podcast, but when I sprained an ankle, I focused on upper body, I focused on doing Pilates that I could do that didn't put any weight on that ankle, um, you know, like strap work or arm work or mat work where you're not standing. And by doing all those other exercises, not only are you going to obviously build strength and tone your muscles, you're going to keep those other muscles in shape. So when you start to get back to dancing, when you start to get back to your sport from your injury, you're not working from the ground zero again. You know, you don't have to redo everything. You just have to focus on strengthening, you know, the injured muscle or the bone or whatever it is. Um, so don't let your body completely just go to nothing. You know what I mean? Keep everything else in check. You obviously don't want to be exercising 24-7, but do what you can while you're injured. A lot of people say swimming is great. Um, you know, sitting in a chair, doing weights. I think I told you guys I would sometimes do the arms of the ballets I was in sitting in a chair. Um, so do what you can so that, again, you're not going from scratch. Once you're injury, you know you're allowed to exercise again. Keep everything else strong, keep everything else in check, and you will get back a lot quicker. Third thing, this is something I've said again before, do every exercise your physical therapist and doctor tells you. You know, don't do it for three days and think it's not working and then stop doing it. They're giving you those exercises for a reason. No matter what injury it is, you're not gonna get back overnight. It's just not going to happen. But by doing those exercises, you're going to gradually build strength. And while you might not see improvement on a day-to-day -day basis, you might see it on a weekly basis. All of a sudden, three weeks later, you'll turn around and go, whoa, what happened? Um, I saw this with my dad with his shoulder. When he had his heart attack, he had a shoulder completely shatter. We still don't really know what happened. But he went to physical therapy and they gave him all these exercises, some that seemed like nothing. And he was almost like, why, why am I doing this? But gradually over time, it was like, what? it was really, really obvious how, he, how much better he got because he was diligent in it. He stuck with it. Um, even though he didn't think he was seeing progress, he stuck with it. And now his shoulder is practically back to normal. So do your exercises, do the reps they say, do when they say, you know, to do them, and you're going to see improvement quickly. Step number four, this is something you guys don't want to hear. Take your time. I've said this again and again and again. Um, one of the things you can do if you're injured, a lot of you have asked me to do a bar for injured dancers. I will do that again once I figure out studios here. But you can go back and do my easy bar. It's super, super basic, super, super simple, and it's really, really good, not only for beginners, but for those of you who are injured. And what you can do is add one exercise every two days, one exercise every day, one exercise every three days, because as a friend of mine once said, it takes longer to rush. So if you do too much too soon, you're going to re-injure yourself 
and have to go back and start over. And so you're going to end up taking longer. So as frustrating as it is, add a little bit at a time. Don't try and do the entire bar day one. If you can only do plies, fine, do plies. Do plies for a week, then add tendus, then add degages, you know, because if you add too much too soon, you're going to re-injure, you're going to re-inflame, and you're going to have a lot, a lot longer time where you're trying to get better. So even when it comes to bar work, take your time. So try it, look at that easy bar, and it's great for those of you guys that are injured and are trying to get back. Last tip, and this is something I said in the podcast, have other distractions. Do something else. Don't sit around and think about your injury and think about all the parts you're missing and all the classes you're missing. That's not going to help you. So wallowing in self-pity is going to lower your self-esteem. It's going to lower your self-confidence. You're going to feel like a total loser and feel like you will never, ever dance again. Coming back from an injury is 90% up here. If you do this the wrong way, you're going to make it worse. This is your key to coming back well from an injury. So do something else. Get a hobby. You know, play with your dog. Um, cook. Maybe take a class you've always wanted to. You know, do something else. Have another passion. Because when ballet is taken away from you, this is what happened to me when I got sick. It was taken away from me. I had no other interests. I had nothing else to do. I felt like I had no life. And, you know, it's, it's going to backfire. So with an injury, it's exactly the same thing. You know, and TV doesn't count. You can have a couple shows that you like to watch, great. But sitting on the couch binge watching all day is not going to help you. You've got to have a total other distraction. And so then when you do focus on your exercises, you do focus on getting back, you'll be really, really focused on it, and then you can clear your brain out of it. Trust me, I'm telling you, don't wallow in your self-pity. It really doesn't help. Maybe for a couple of days you can feel sorry for yourself, but it's just going to end up slowing you down in the long run. Um, trust me, I've been there several times. So make sure you're not just thinking about that injury. So five easy tips. Again, kind of all self-explanatory. I've talked about them before. But you guys, the key to the injuries is really taking your time to come back. I know you want to come back tomorrow, but it takes longer to rush. It really, really does. And I've been there. I'm not a person who's just kind of saying this. <laughs> I've been in your shoes. Trust me, it's so frustrating, but it is worth it. And, you know, when you take your time, you'll, you'll usually come back better than ever. So really, really take your time. If you missed my life updates and wedding updates video, a lot of fun stuff in there. You can click it to watch. Be sure and check out the vlog channel. Exciting news on the vlog channel. If you missed it, we got a puppy. You might want to check that out. As always, you're the best. Your comments always make my day. So thank you all so, so much. I love you all, and I'll see you on Friday.